the course really for the rest of your life and your career. Theo, now we understand that you have the distinction of being the only artist in the history of Motown to sing lead for both the Four Tops and the Temptations. That's quite an honor, congratulations. We make changes in our group and I think you would be perfect for the group. I said, well, what group are you with? He said, well, I'm with the Temptations. Oh my, you lied. It is, it is an honor, and I'm happy to say that I've done that. Yes, and we understand as well that you were, it was baptism by fire. Can you tell us the story about the first time you took over for the Four Tops? Oh. Yeah, I can. That's um, I was leaving the Temptations, and the Four Tops loved to play golf, and I was just learning to play golf. So we were on the golf course, and they said, I "Think leave." Or Duke said, "Theo, are you leaving the Temptations?" I said, "Yeah." I'm, well, wait six months to make sure the Temptations don't hire you back. Six months later, they called me, and it was kind of strange because the Temps and the Tops would perform together on numerous shows all over the world. And so now i am left this group and now I'm with this group. And so the Temptations would look at me like, okay, there's an enemy in the camp. And so I joined the four tops and it was just a great camaraderie of the two groups together. And it just felt a little weird for me having sang with one group and now I'm singing with their competitor quote unquote, whatever you want to call it. But it was it was different for me. And it was it was amazing. Did Levi Stubbs just kind of push you out to take over for him one night? That was one of the stories that we heard. Oh, that story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were in you Los started making me look bad there a little bit there, <laughs> Phil. You, you you giving them the uh, story. I'm I'm giving them the one in, in Las Vegas. That's the big <laughs> We were in Las Vegas, and we were doing um, a week show. And on the very last night, Levi was struggling a little bit, um, and he had a real bad cold. And you know, with Vegas, there's the dry air, and it's hard to sing there that many days consecutively. And in the middle of the show, or right at the end of the show, Levi says, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know that I've been performing and singing for you my fans all over the world for over 40 something years. And I just want to make an announcement that this will be my last show. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the old peoples. I'm looking around me and I literally had to sing the last medley of songs on that show that very night when he announced it, it was a shock to all of us. And it was there. Yeah, I was baptized in fire, so to speak. <laughs> how, how intimidating must that have been? I mean, so you're saying you didn't even know that was going to happen. So is he the only one that knew he was going to do that? Yes, he was. It was not discussed. Uh, he didn't talk about it. Um, I just guess he had a feeling that he didn't want to. He wanted to spend the rest of his time with his family. And that being said, I had no clue that you're going to push me out there because I had replaced Lawrence Payton, the one who passed. So I'm singing backgrounds and Levi was the captain of the show. So he passed the torch to me and I'm like, okay. So that's when I had my first taste of singing lead for the four tops. Wow. <laughs> well, at least you were singing with the group and you knew the song. So yeah, yeah. And somehow, somehow we we know that you had the confidence to pull that off and pull it off quite well. Obviously, well, it wasn't easy because keep in mind, Levi Stubbs was the only lead singer of the Four Tops for over forty-seven years. I believe in you. And
after putting me in that position, we started traveling and now I'm the new lead singer. Well, our first concert, I saw people getting up, walking out of the show. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, what's this about? And it's not, I didn't take it personally. They were just Levi Stubb fans. And I, I took me a minute to get past that. <laughs> I was scared and I'd like to say that 12 years later, I became the lead singer, so. Yes, long before I met Theo Peoples, I went to a Four Tops show. And out they marched, you know, doing their thing. And uh, uh, then the spotlight, boom, dropped on Theo Peoples. He was, he put, they put him right out front and featured him as if he were Levi because he was carrying it that well. It was just uh, an amazing thing to see because I, I like all everyone else was there to see uh, Levi. Um, and this young man was up there killing it. Killing. I did not know Theo at that point in time, but I said, "Uh oh, this, they they found the right guy because he was just he was amazing. He was amazing." Yeah. Well, it seems like you all have a tremendous amount of respect for one another. Now, Joe, you sang lead for the Platters, and mm -hmm. Joe Blunt, you sang.